into every single thing we could imagine them to put in over the last eight months. Um, these are a group of millennials, people who sacrifice their professional careers, not just to build a better city, but to really believe that politics was a noble calling, that each and every one of us, regardless of where we live, what we do, or what we think about the future, can be changed if we simply allow more people to get involved in the process. That was campaign staff from the campaign manager all the way to interns, volunteers, people across all of our operation to truly make something very unique and very special. And to say that, obviously, there's many of you here tonight who volunteered for us over the last eight months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've, ever since I entered public service, I've always been a believer in the power of people and the power that volunteers can give to change not just their neighborhoods, but change their city and change their country. And I know many of you here tonight spent the last four days knocking on over 18,000 doors, making over 25,000 phone calls across this city with Catherine, myself, and our campaign team. And I can simply just, really, just from the bottom of our hearts, say thank you, because that is work that makes campaigns like this so enjoyable, to see people pour so much of their heart and soul into believing that we can do something together, and taking time out of your very busy schedule to do it is something that will truly be a memory of both of ours for the rest of our lifetime. I'd also be remiss not to thank our campaign finance co-chairs, Mike Yanni and Andy Holland, two people who spent the last six months helping us build a campaign operation, helping us raise the funding necessary to truly build what I would say is a top-notch organization. But also, we wouldn't be up here tonight without the strong support and the unwavering support of the men and women of organized labor across this city. Yeah. Members... Members of the Omaha Federation of Labor, the Omaha Education Association, the Nebraska AFL-CIO, and especially the Omaha Professional Firefighters Association, I can tell you we as a campaign would not be on this stage, would not have re received as many votes as we did tonight or have seen what we believe is really amazing progress as a city over the last eight months without your support. 